Today we're going to create a spreadsheet that contains a list of first name, last name, and email addresses that we are going to export to a CSV file so that we can import a list of contacts into our Google Apps account. Starting here, I've already logged into my Gmail account, my Google Apps for my business. And in the top, you'll see I've already selected Mail. We're in the Mail interface. I'm going to click on Drive. Now, when this loads up, we'll see that here's a list of documents that I have actually in my Google Drive. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to say uh, a spreadsheet. And we're going to title this spreadsheet Contact List. From here, we need to make three columns, and the headers for these columns need to be as shown here. First name, last name, and email address. I'm going to put in three sample users. I'm going to say uh, first sample, and the email address is first at sample.com. Hope that's no one's real domain. Second sample, second at sample.com. And I'll do a third one, third sample at, and it's going to be third at sample.com. So I've created my list. The nice thing about Google Apps uh, using Google Drive and Google Documents is that it automatically saves. So once I've named it, it's already saved. What I want to do now is I'm going to actually download this. I'm going to go to the file menu in Google Drive and go down to download as comma separated values, CSV. And when that takes place, you'll see a little animation and now it's been downloaded into my, uh, dot, my downloads folder. I'm going to go back over here to my email and we're going to scroll over to where it says contacts and we're going to click on contacts. That's going to bring up my contact list. You can see there are people who are already in there but we're going to check and see is at sample.com do I have any email addresses for that and I do not so I'm going to go to more and I'm going to import those email addresses I just created so I hit import I get a dialog that asks to choose a file I will choose my file it was in my downloads folder and what did I name it uh, contact lists uh, I'm going to check in downloads right there there's my contact list. It has some percents in it because I had some spaces in the name. I'm going to choose that. Notice it ends in .csv. I'll hit choose <coughs> and import. And now you'll see under the filter of at sample.com, I now have those three email addresses I just created. If I wanted to put those into a group, I could actually select those. One, two, three, and then create a group. And we'll say create new and we're going to name this group the sample email group for all those people at sample.com and now I have a sample email group that's been created from there I should be able to say okay we're going to go to uh, sample email group and you'll see everybody who's inside of that group if you have any questions relating to this uh, tutorial or if you want to uh, contact me to uh, create a tutorial on a question you have uh, just send me an email or drop a line in the comments. Thank you.